Nice place you got here, Shandy. What are you doing here? I've been watching this place. I know you're here alone. Not for long, I'm not. So you better get the... Don't make this difficult. You think you walking out of here? Unless you want a bullet in this bitch, you're goddamn right I am. Kid, you just made a stupid... You know who I am! Seeing as I'm gonna kill you in a few seconds, I don't really give a shit. Keep your distance! Shandi, you okay? My ex-boyfriend's a dick. Pretty much, yeah. I can't believe you got your ass kicked by that chump. Did I mention that my ex-boyfriend's a dick? You should go home and rest. If by resting you mean smoking an ounce, then hell yeah. fire, we cannot afford to have anything go wrong with our next shipment. Don't worry, General. The shipment will be safe. These saints are proving themselves to be quite the nuisance. Then perhaps it's time we speak to their leader. Who the fuck are you? They call me 
Mr. Sunshine. Well, listen, Sunshine. I don't care how fucked up your face is. I ain't scared of you or that other asshole. Pity. Gentlemen, I'm through meeting with my adversary. If you please, uh, dispose of this trash. Of course, General. <laughs> You're a general? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> that asshole thinks he's a... <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Bad time to be fucked up. Chinga, me estoy aburriendo. How you feeling? Comfortable. And very hungry. You need help standing up? No. I'm good here. You sure? Oh yeah. You know, there could be some more guys looking for you. Eh, you could take them, right? Probably not. Eh, that's good. Fucking lightweights. can't take all this sitting around. When you gonna let me come out and do some dirt with you? Don't take it the wrong way, Pierce. I'm just used to dealing with shit myself. Heads up, Pierce. Come on. Sorry, girl. No self-respecting brother plays hacky sack. Why you got the cheerleader calling the shots and not me? Right here. Pierce, I put you in charge of the Ronin. What more do you want? I can do more to help. Do you know how the Sons of Sandy are still moving product after we torch their farm and drug labs? No? Then shut the fuck up. Why you gotta be like that? I'm just saying, don't bitch unless you got a solution. Um, guys... My solution is to do more than wait around for one of the 600 guys Shonda used to fuck to give us a call. There's a bunch of helicopters dropping cargo over Sandy territory. How the hell you know that? Gotta be fucking kidding me. Tell you what, Pierce. If you wanna watch me blow up some helicopters, you're more than welcome. I took no pleasure in this, my friend, but a price needed to be paid for failure. Don't worry. I only need one ear to hear the whispers of the lower. I know that you will fix this. Of course, General. Do not worry. Sunshine. Come on, man. Where's the shipment? There is no shipment. This isn't funny, man. I couldn't agree more. I don't care how much you jack up the price. Just give me the dust. There's nothing for me to sell. You promised that another shipment was coming in. And there was. But the Saints stole it. Fuck you, then. Where are they slinging? I'll buy from them. No. You will not. You are upset and want your drugs, this I understand. But there are other solutions. Like what? You all will go and steal the drugs from the saints. Are you fucking crazy? They'll kill us all. Perhaps. But if they don't, you will be taken care of for quite some time. We... 
We get to keep what we take? Oh, yes. Sometimes there's just too much to do. Sunshine. Give me the dust. Fine. Where's sunshine? What does it matter? You're gonna kill me anyway. I'm in no rush. He hangs out at the old meat packing plant. See, was that so hard? I'm coming too. No. This is total bullshit. You can't just cut me out of the loop. I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's one of the perks of running a gang. Is Pierce talking shit again? Because I don't care what- This doesn't have anything to do with Pierce. If a strung out DJ almost took you out, a crazy motherfucker like Sunshine will tear you apart. I don't have time to babysit you. You won't have to babysit. Stick to tactics, Shandy. This conversation is over. You gonna stand there? Or you gonna work out? I get enough cardio running from the cops. Suit yourself. I'm surprised you can run five minutes without coughing up a lung, let alone five miles. I'm full of surprises. Then surprise me and tell me how we're gonna take out the general. Well, that creep's always riding around in that limo of his, right? Yeah. So I figure the easiest way to find him is to go and tap into the traffic cameras at the police station. I don't know if easiest would be the word I'd use. All right, so it's not the easiest way, but it's the quickest. Besides, now I get to tag along. Are you high, or do you not remember the part where I told you I wasn't gonna babysit you? Okay, so you're gonna hack into the traffic cameras then? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go, boss. All right, people, here's the deal. We got a truck full of electronic shit that I don't know how to use. I want you guys to help unload the truck and set up shop here. Once we're up and running, I want someone watching these monitors 24-7. The moment someone sees that fucking limo, I want to know about it. Let's get to work. This is gonna work, right? Probably. You had me break into a police station for something that would probably work? Well, you know, I thought it would be good times. Thanks, Shondi. Anytime. Holy shit! I found the limo! Yo, Shondi, where the hell are you? What's up? 
Get up. We gotta get moving. What? You're actually taking me along? I can't get a hold of Pierce. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Now get up. We gotta catch that limo. Is he dead? You got a light? That's it, huh? Seeing as we stole their drugs, cornered the lower dust market, took their territory and killed their leader, I'm pretty sure the sons of Samdi are fucked. So, how'd I do? Well, he's dead and you're not, so I say pretty goddamn good. So you think I could take Gat? Not on your fucking life. What about Pierce? Probably not. Veteran child? Seeing as he's dead, I'm pretty sure you'd kick his ass. You're an asshole. Here he comes, get ready. As many of you know, the restoration of Saints Row was a tremendous success, but that was just the beginning of what Old Tor has in mind for Stillwater. This is Shivington. Once a pristine set of tenement homes, this neighborhood has devolved into a dangerous ghetto filled with undesirables such as these. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, ugly buildings, unwashed masses, what the hell is Old Tor thinking? My friends, we are thinking about the future. Picture this, glass towers, clean streets, and no one below the poverty line trying to wash your car. Impossible? For a lesser company, maybe. Now, I'm not here to make idle promises or vague predictions. No offense to all of you politicians out there. No, I'm here to show you how we're going to do it. Now, obviously, before we can remodel Shivington, we need to own the land. So how do we do that? by directing the gangs towards Sunnyvale. Not only are we lowering the number of our detractors, we are lowering the property value as well, which means when we buy the land, the savings get passed on to you, the stockholders. The gangs cripple each other. We direct funds to the Stillwater Police Department, they increase police presence, and pretty soon, all those nasty little gangbangers are gone. Crime stops, property value goes up, and now, your population looks like this. This could be going better. I liked Ultor a lot more when they just made clothes. What you do to piss these guys off? Fuck if I know. Yo! I signed on for killing gangbangers, not fighting some SWAT team from hell. Don't worry about it, Pierce. We'll take care of it. The fuck you mean don't worry about it? These guys are packing space age shit. Hey, Shandi, you date anyone who worked at a place called the Pyramid? No. For real? All right. 
You two find out whatever you can about this place. I want to take these assholes apart. Is this the pyramid? Yeah. Altor's built a huge R&D facility underneath Mount Claflin. Let me guess. They aren't developing a better bread box. Honestly, they probably are. They're just, you know, developing guns and body armor, too. Why is Altor gunning for us? It doesn't matter. Here's the plan. Pierce and Shandy, I want the two of you to hit the streets and take out as much Altor property as you can. If Altor wants to come after us, fine. But we're gonna make it fucking cost them. Gat, you and I are gonna hit the pyramid. What, we don't get to blow shit up in public? Fine. We can do some damage street side, but we've gotta be quick. I don't wanna give Altor any more of a heads up than we have to. <laughs> Dane, while your project has been yielding positive results, the board is a little concerned. I don't understand. The Saints are out of control! That was the point. When you budgeted funds for Force Majeure, we didn't realize compromising the Pyramid was what you had in mind. We're dealing with violent criminals. Are you really surprised they might do something, I don't know, violent? The pyramid was not going to last forever. It's better to spin this now when we are the victims than when Channel 6 does an undercover expose. Dane, fix the problem. Okay, maybe I'm being too obtuse. Let me try this again. There is no problem. We've had enough of your ego. My ego is what got you this far. Finish off the saints, or being fired is the least of your worries. Is that all? Take care of this, Dane. Of course I will. What's this? Don't know. I found it here and it was addressed to you. Looking to crash your party? Thinking about it. Well, your history with boats is pretty solid, so, uh, this seems like a good idea. I think I'm gonna go find Shandy. Good idea. Don't you care who sent it? Nope. But it's probably a trap. Yep. Oh, that's all right, Jamie. I think I'm going to skip it this year. Oh, and Jamie? Yes, sir? Please move my things to my new office and set up a press conference. You were promoted, Mr. Vogel? I'm about to be. You in position, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Just make sure I get to Vogel. As most of you know, the Old Tour board of directors were assassinated the other night, and while we at Old Tour would like to take the time to mourn their passing, sadly, that's a luxury we don't have. The corporate office has named me chairman. And I wanted to personally let you all know, not only will business continue as usual, but we will be taking even greater strides forward. Monica Hughes has graciously greenlit a project that's very dear to us at Altor, the revitalization of Shivington. In the coming days... Mr. Hull, come with us.
All right, let's not be too hasty here. You're upset, you're frustrated, and you've got a gun, which you know I'd really like it if you would put that away. You should have thought of that before you sent a team to wipe out my gang. I tried telling the board that going after the Saints was a big mistake. They should have listened to you. Believe me, right now I am agreeing with you 100%, but you have to look at the positives. You're alive, they're dead, and you have the Saints' number one fan running all- <laughs> We missed it! Told ya. Now pay up. Where the fuck were you guys? Traffic. What? He's not joking. The roads have been blocked off. You see Gat out there? Oh, he's fine. He's still out there killing cops. Figures. What is it? It's done. Time to pull out of there. You sure? Get the fuck off of me! I mean, I'm not running out of ammo anytime soon. I'm sure. See you back home. Later. Who you calling now? I'll ride. Our city. We do whatever the fuck we want. The fuck took you so long? You ain't Dex. Neither are you. You look different, did you? I didn't do shit to my hair. You pulling a gun on me? Well, I didn't have time to plant a bomb in the church, so this'll have to do. You don't know what the hell you talking about. Why don't you educate me? I don't gotta explain shit to you. This is where we're gonna have to agree to disagree. Why don't you just put the gun down? We both know you're not gonna use it. Not yet. Stop! I never thought I'd see you beg, Julius. I'm not begging. I'm trying to talk some sense into you. I'm done listening to your bullshit. Put it together. Dex wanted us in the same place. Yeah, and why'd he want that? Can we kill each other later? Swing by the crib, see what everyone. Just like old times, player. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I thought we were past this. Not by a fucking long shot. Don't you get it? The Saints didn't solve a goddamn thing. Drugs were still being pushed. Innocent people were still getting killed. All we did was turn into vice kings that wore purple. Jesus Christ, you sound like a pussy. I sound like someone who's not a sociopath. You want to be the killer with a conscience? Fine. Drop your flags and write a book like King, but you never should have came after me. You telling me, if I would have asked you to walk away, you would have said yes. Fuck no. This is my city. Jesus. You haven't learned a goddamn thing. Wrong. I've learned that being in charge is better than being a bitch who keeps his mouth shut and does what he's told. Your time's over, old man. What's happened to you? I woke up. You owe me, player. If it wasn't for me, you would have died on that street corner. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been in a goddamn coma. 
But I guess that makes us even. Not really. <laughs>